Hey, Robert Frank here. RobertFrankOnline.com Hey, I just wanted to get a little video out about me. So again, my name is Robert Frank. I'm from a small town in west central Missouri called Harrisonville. This is just south of Kansas City. I'm a dad. I have three grown children. Well, my daughter, she's in her senior year of high school. And I have two sons as well. What's really cool is... Uh, uh, both my sons, they are entrepreneurs, and I believe my daughter is too. She's still working through school, but I think she's probably going to go that route. Why is that? Well, because her mom and dad, or their mom and dad, are entrepreneurs. Through a lot of different things, and there's some things in, uh, in teaching that we grew up teaching, and I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, Robert Kiyosaki or not, but he wrote a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad the cash flow quadrant, some of these kinds of things. Um, I believe it's called, I, haven't, I actually haven't played it in a long time, but the, he created a game uh, called Getting Out of the Rat Race. I think that's what it's called. We played that. You know, other families played Monopoly and stuff, and we played Monopoly too, and it's a great little real estate game. Uh, but there's a lot of different games and things like that that you could play, but we played cash flow. That's what it is. It wasn't getting out of the rat race. It's cash flow. The principles of business, the principles of cash flow, the differences of uh, a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement and understanding uh, how cash flows, how money flows, understanding the tax benefits of being in business, understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, understanding that your personal home, in most cases, is actually a liability. Understanding why uh, being an employee may not necessarily be the route to go. I got started in business uh, pretty much right out of high school. I got out of high school and I learned to trade, um, which was actually roofing, uh, residential roofing. And I uh, used to work on some two and three story houses, very steep, um, put on wood roofs. And uh, that was new. I remember that. It was scary. Uh, climbing up on roofs, things of that nature, but it actually didn't take that long to to really, you know, about three years, it became, you know, I, I had it. I, I knew what was necessary. So then after that, I went ahead and started my own business as a roofing contractor. And from there, it went on and developed. Uh, from there, got in, got involved in real estate, uh, also got involved in uh, insurance, uh, property claims, that kind of thing, and all of these ventures have been in the self-employed, independent uh, way. So I have been in business, uh, working for myself for a very long time. I wouldn't do any other way. I, I really, I'm not unemployable. I do not make a good employee. Um, I, I want to be able to create. I have a hard time being told what to do, when to do it, uh, things of that nature. I really like my freedom. And I also like to be able to serve from my heart. And what I notice when you have a job, a lot of times you are not given that freedom. And you pretty much are living in a fear type of an environment, always worried about losing your job. Uh, if you mess up, God forbid you mess up. <laughs> As an entrepreneur, you get paid to mess up. Uh, failure is how you reach success. It's all about failing forward, and it's not so much about perfection. So, anyway, my desire is to assist others become successful entrepreneurs in home business. And I've been successful with that, and I love teaching other people. A lot of times, if you don't really have experience as an entrepreneur, it's going to be a process. But you can do it. It's new. You're going to learn some different skills, some new skills. You're going to live, instead of in the world of fear, you're going to start learning to live in faith. You're going to find that uh, you don't punch a clock and get paid for just being there and working just hard enough to not lose your job. You're going to find you put in, you put your heart into what you're doing because you love what you're doing. Because it is yours. 
your very own enterprise. And when you have your very own enterprise, your own business, there's pride. And you take that pride and then you produce. You produce results. And the sky is the limit on the income. There are no ceilings. So, anyway. My name again is Robert Frank. If you got some value from this, go ahead and leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. The other thing is, is hey, you know, if you're looking to start a business from home, for absolutely free, I put together a little ebook. Tells you a little bit more about me, but more importantly, gives you the five keys to evaluate a home business. Now, they're actually not what you think. Um, you may be surprised at what they are, and you may even think, well, this stuff's really basic. Um, the thing is, is these are key principles, and they need to be there for you to, to have success. Because if you're missing these keys, it could really make it nearly impossible to succeed. And I found this out through the School of Hard Knocks, and I've put it down for you to simplify the process. So anyway, again, thanks for coming by. I do appreciate it. Bye for now.